Hey guys, I'm Simulator Tech, and this is the start of a three-part series about the creation of my very own one-of-one -one custom mechanical keyboard. In today's video, I'll be going over how I designed the keyboard case in CAD and had it manufactured. I won't be going over PCB design since that's a bit out of my comfort zone and my wallet capacity, so I'll just be going over the case and the plate. Oh, and before we get into the video, I want to thank PCBWay for making this video possible. Hey, uh, are you the keyboard guy? Oh yeah, what's up? So I want to build my first keyboard and I was wondering if you could help me find parts for it. Okay, so um, what kind of keyboard do you want? So I was thinking I want like a 60% keyboard with winky blockers and I want it to be a top mount. Oh, okay, well in that case, I would recommend trying the front. But I also want a numpad on the left side, kind of like a southpaw board. Okay, so I don't know any keyboards like that off the top of my head, but I could do some research on And I wanted to have a built-in DAC amp, a coffee maker, wireless charging. Hey, hey, what you need is PCBWay. PCBWay offers CNC machining, 3D printing, PCB fabrication, and much more. You can submit your designs with a multitude of material options and receive a quote very quickly. With the power of PCBWay, you can manufacture whatever designs your little brains can imagine. For this project, I started out by using this website called Keyboard Layout Editor. I've always loved the symmetry of a 60%, especially with win key blockers, so that's what I made. Also, I chose it because there are loads of PCBs available with that layout since we're not designing a PCB. After that, you can use the plate and case builder on Swirl KB or the AIO3 plate generator. Either one works. From here, you can input the raw data from the layout editor into this box and choose settings like switch type, stabilizer type, and much more. Though I wouldn't recommend editing most of the lower ones if you're like me and don't know what you're doing. Then just click draw my CAD and voila, you can download your plate. After you've finished your plate, download Fusion 360. This is a free app that allows you to design 3D models and it's what I'll be using. Just FYI, everything I know about Fusion 360 is from messing around and looking things up on YouTube. So before you start, I would recommend watching some YouTube videos that teach you the basics of the app. Alright, let me show you my designs. I won't go over exactly how to make them, but I'll explain the elements in detail. Using the plate we generated from earlier, I made this bad boy. I decided on making the board gasket mounted, so I added 4 mounts for the gaskets in each corner. I find that boards with less mounting near the spacebar tend to produce a more poppy spacebar, so I decided against adding mounts in the middle. The plate is 1.6mm thick, though 1.5 works too. I decided on going a little bit thicker, since I want this to be made of polycarbonate, which is a very flexible material. Besides, 0.1mm is within the margin of error for most CNC machines, so it'll be alright. I decided to make my keyboard a two-piece design held together by screws. So here is the top case first. I made the side bezels nice and thin and the top and bottom bezels pretty thick since that's pretty common and I think it looks really nice. Obviously there's wind key blockers which are nice but nothing special. I could add designs to them but I decided against it in favor of a more simple design. I also added screw holes on the top and bottom. The front has a cherry lip which theoretically makes it more comfortable to type on but I think it just looks cool. Finally, I added a fillet to the outer top edges so it's not razor sharp, and I also added about half a millimeter to each inner side to make sure there's no rubbing of keycaps on the case. Yeah. Alright, here's the bottom case. I decided on a wedge design somewhat reminiscent of the Bakaneko from Keikatano. I also added a 2mm deep cutout for a weight on the back which will hopefully look cool. Finally, I added a spot inside for the unified daughter board to screw in and a cutout for the USB-C cable to plug in. Oh, by the way, I added spots for the gaskets to sit in the case. Finally, here's the weight with an adorable hamster engraving. I've had two hamsters in the past named Mango and S'more, and hamsters are one of my favorite animals. I also added two holes for screws to attach it to the bottom case. To submit the designs to PCBWay, all you have to do is upload the files from Fusion 360 and select all the settings you want for your keyboard.
If your board requires screws, then you'll need technical drawings which can be made in Fusion 360, and you'll need to select the tap thread setting on the PCBWay website. The rest of the settings are pretty much up to you and how much quality control you want on your board, though I left most of the settings as is. And with that, this is what the final board will theoretically look like. I really like how the board came out and... Oh, let me get the door.